Here's one of the quickest ways to make a new decal with Decal Designer. Open up the decal library and find a decal's good starting point. In this case, I'm going to make some new blood. Come over here to a decal that is close to what I want. Click on it, find the decal material that it's using, which is this blood wet D. Scroll down and you should see the substance graph which is generating these textures. Click on it, duplicate it, and I'm going to just call this blood wet new. This outputs some new textures for me. Next, I'm going to double click on that graph and open it up here. I'm going to come back to the material instance and also duplicate that. Blood wet new material instance. And on that material instance, instead of the old textures, I'm going to point it to the new ones that I've just generated. So that's uh, this one here. We don't need metallic, normal, roughness, and this one is the opacity. All of the textures have handy suffixes like D, N, or A, which match the inputs on the material instance, just so you know what to plug in where. So N for normal, or for roughness, A for opacity, or alpha. Now I'm just going to browse back to that new material that I've made and I'm going to drag it into the scene. So you can see it's now a duplicate of the one that we had before. And if, for example, I randomize the seed on this guy, you'll see that it uh, changes. So we've correctly hooked up the textures to this new material. If I want to tweak this decal, all I have to do is play with the easy to use parameters. So I could reduce the amount, change the pattern which is being used. Perhaps I want sort of a more spotted blood, tweak a few parameters, maybe change the color. Perhaps it's a sort of a more dried out um, blood. It's old blood. Maybe I want to increase the roughness. And that's how easy it is to make a new decal from an existing decal in the library. So a quick recap of those steps is we duplicated the substance graph. This created our new textures. We duplicated the material instance and we just slotted in the new textures that we'd created. I can even edit this guy a little bit further. I'll come down here to my custom input. I'm going to browse to a custom little texture that I made here, this little 30 symbol. Turn that on. And then maybe we'll invert the mask. There, probably in under 30 seconds. We've made a new decal ready for use in Unreal 4. Place this in our scene, copy it around. Perhaps we don't want to see this hard edge here, so we turn on the edge pattern and maybe add a little bit of variation. Perhaps we want to adjust that edge balance a little bit, add a little bit of maybe let's cycle through the edge pattern type. Come down here, maybe we want a little more of this 30. That's how quick and easy it is to make a new decal with Decal Designer. Here I'm just randomizing the seed, which will always give you a new variant, so you can just stop on the one you want, or simply input the random seed number.